Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to talk about a few things that have helped me, two more things that have helped me with depersonalization and derealization. Um, the first thing would be to realize that the reason why you're going through this is not, there's many reasons why you're going through this, but there are traumas that may have happened to you in your past that you need to go back and you really just, you, you need to dig deep. You need to look at everything that's happened to you in your life and figure out if there's something that has, maybe you don't remember right now, maybe it's not a thought, maybe it's kind of under the, under the surface, subconscious level, but maybe you need to go back and figure out if there's something that you, you're kind of holding on to underneath, underneath the surface. And if, maybe if you have a certain trigger that makes the DP worse or the DR worse, Maybe try to figure out, okay, I'm in this place. What is it about this place? Who, who was I with? Who have I been with when I'm in this place the most? And why, 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 would I, why would I have this reaction to this place? What kind of ties do I have to this place? What emotional tags have been pressed into my brain from this place? What experiences have I, have I had in this place? And... You know, for me, just kind of taking a step back and looking and trying to be very realistic and holistic in the healing process, I found that, you know, obviously the healing process is slow, but something that has helped me is to look back and when you find something that you need to, let's say you find out that, or you figure out that you have had a wound that has been associated with a certain person or there's something that you're holding on to, maybe guilt, maybe something that you just can't let go. You need to work through it. You need to go back and feel and feel how you felt then. And you really need to just let it consume you and you need to let it go. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive whoever that person is. And this happens at whatever rate it does. You know, it's there's always something else you can be doing to free yourself of what of what's holding you back and for me I just know that talking about talking about past problems and things that I've struggled with has helped a lot uh, I just recently got back from a trip a road trip and I was just in in the car with my mom for a long time and I you know my my DP DR was getting pretty bad and I just I had to let it out you know I had to I had to cry it out, yet sometimes you just gotta let it go. For me, it builds up and builds up and builds up, and for a while I'm fine, but eventually it reach, reaches a point where it gets it gets bad enough where I just have to let it out. I gotta cry it out, I gotta talk about it, and in, in those times, I figure out a little bit more, a little bit more of what may be keeping me in this place. And I learn about past problems that I've dealt with, past problems that I continue to struggle with and that's that's an important part part of healing um, and I just think that is ultra ultra important um, so I would recommend just really taking a deep look and try to gain some understanding as to why you may be suffering from this emotional kind of trauma now obviously it's not all emotional like the feelings that you're feeling are very real and physical but there's also a lot that goes into creating this situation that your brain is in all this chemistry that your brain has created it's all being built from your experiences and your food and just everything all these factors are all they're all combined and so I've just realized that you have to attack this thing from every single every single spot, every single angle that you can, because at the end of the day, when you do, and I'm, I'm still learning this, you will become a, a much more well-rounded person, a much more whole person, and I'm working my way towards that right now. I'm not there. Heck no, I'm not there. But I'm working to be there, and I know what I got to do. And just in knowing that, gives a little bit of peace, a little bit of strength, a little bit of clarity and ah it just it's just good stuff um 
The second thing would be to just try to get into the mode of being grateful. I know, I know, I know, I know this is hard. Trust me, I'm still living it. I've had moments recently where I gotta let it out and cry. But there's also moments where you're, you just, you gotta be grateful. There's a roof above my head, there's food, there's warmth, there are pets, animals, there are just, you have, there's people around you that love you and care about you. And for that, you just gotta try to be grateful. Try to be just happy. And I know that it sounds so hard and it's honestly such a simple thing to just think positive thoughts and think grateful thoughts. Just wake up in the morning and say, you know what? Today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be the best day of my life because you know what? Today's the only day, only day I got. And that has helped me a lot. I've noticed that days where I wake up out of bed and I start stretching and I, I just, I say, you know what, today's gonna be an awesome day. Let me, let me spread the love. Let me just, just have so much energy and let me be peaceful. And you know what, those messages go out to the universe, wherever they go, and your prayers are answered. Your, your messages that you send out there, they come back. And I've, I've witnessed this. If you just trust, trust what you're doing, crazy things happen. I've, I just, I've experienced within this, this journey that we call life, I guess, but most, more specifically DPDR, that the more you think positive thoughts and the more that you send out love, send out giving, send out these good signals, send out positive thoughts, send out these messages that you are healing, the more you are healing, you are going to heal, you are healing right now. Just even watching this video, just even making this video for me, I know that I'm healing. Because I'm at a point where I have knowledge of things that work and things that don't work. And I can share that. And that's awesome and I'm so grateful for that. And I just, whatever you do, do it with love. And just hang in there, don't give up. You got this. I believe in you. Just keep on being receptive. Keep on learning. Keep on learning what your triggers are. Keep on learning what sets it off, what doesn't set it off, what makes you happy. Maybe it's going out or running. Exercise, it's so good for you. Get strong. Just be, just, just have faith. I'm not asking you to believe in anything except for yourself. Because I believe in you. I believe in me. I believe in all of us. We got this. Alright, have a good day, night, whenever you're watching this. I'm going to have a good night because it is night time. And that's where I'm at. Peace. Hey, buddy. Hey. Say bye. Okay.